Well, hey there, you swank cool cats. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Good to see you here again. Uh, Rogue State Revolution. I had a sponsored stream with them. I can't remember how long ago, a couple weeks ago. And the game was some real legit fun. And I had to go and I wanted to play more. And so I'm back to play it again. Out now on Steam, Rogue State Revolution is kind of like a little bit uh, Command and Conquer with its full motion video. A little bit... Um, a little bit like, um, I'd say, maybe a little bit of a city builder, like a Civ Six, and also a little bit of like Hearts of Iron, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's a good mix of things that you want in a game where you're taking over and commanding a country, working with resources and stuff. It's kind of got a little comedy in it, but it's more serious, but it's more comedy. I don't know, man. It was a good mix that like I hadn't really seen before, but it felt like it was a golden era of gaming coming back for whatever reason with the cutscenes. The cutscenes were the best. So I'm uh, happy to play some more. Like Rebel Incorporated? Yeah, it's got a little, a little bit of everything in there. Uh, we played it previously. I did like a good two hour. Uh, There's a trailer that we watched and stuff. But here, we're just going to chill out and play some more. So welcome back, chat. Good to see you all back in the saddle. We'll have some uh, more giveaways and such on the Discord for the rest of the weekend. As it is my birthday soon. So as a reminder for all those of you who are members, don't forget to drop in. I'm trying to be real random with my dropping of keys to try to give everybody a chance. Like, I'm not saying anything. I'm just giving it to whoever happens to be in the Discord. So everybody who uh, might be on our Discord has a chance at different times. If I did it at the same time, it would be unfair to, like, people who are in Australia or people who are in Canada or whatever. Whatever the case may be. Well, anyway, welcome back. Good to see you all here. Just dropping a notice on uh, Twitter that I am live, and we will go right now. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, why do people have green names? Oh, that means they're members, uh, so, and they get access to emotes and stuff like that. So enjoy all of your lovely new emotes. By the way, I think YouTube's starting to do this thing where uh, there is a discount on memberships. And uh, so basically, if you become a member, they'll pay me the full amount, and you guys get a huge discount. And, of course, you get a chance to win games and stuff like that. Just in, They're doing this just in time for my birthday, I bet. So if you want to become a member, go right ahead. If not, welcome and say hi in chat. Just like uh, Enrique Sha Akara. <laughs> hi there. Sorry, you have a quite a difficult name. But hello, welcome nonetheless. What's up, uh, David Gritz? How you doing? Notice that pop-ups to let you know we're going live? All right. Well, that's good to know. Thank you very much for dropping in. Oh, thank you, Rabbit King, for the early birthday wishes. Yeah, I'll be starting the celebration tomorrow because my birthday's on Tuesday, but I wanted to play some games all weekend with you guys like Evil Genius and uh, try to do some stuff with our members, too, except now there's uh, some games coming out on the weekend that I can play, too. So we have, like, Evil Genius and Prehistoric uh, Kingdoms and so, so much to play. It it's busy times. It's busy times. All right, well, let's get started. Game just uh, had a little update, so I had to get that going, so let's go. Oh, and this music is from Evil Genius, by the way. It's not its not from this game. It's just some nice little background music. Man, Evil Genius was such a good game from 2004, by the way. But Rogue State Revolution is as of today. You guys can get it now on Steam. All right, let's play. Get going, YouTuber. Step up. President Raptor, pleasure to meet you. I'm Commander uh, Gr Grasic. Well, hello. How you doing, dude? Thanks for dropping in. Uh, Raptor, can you add in Gates of Hell German campaign or Soviet campaign because your Rands don't like it, the Soviet German campaign. What? I don't, I don't know what you mean. I can't add any campaigns. Oh yeah, this game has a glorious, uh, a glorious intro song. Buttercake, you're telling me fans don't like the Soviet or Germans? You're telling me a game called Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront, taking place in the Eastern Front of World War II, which was a conflict primarily between the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and Nazi Germany. You're saying that people who are watching are not liking to see the conflict taking place between the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and Nazi Germany? Oh, okay. Well, let me go ahead and do Japan and America then. I'll throw those in real quick. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, dude? <laughs> 
dude, we're here to play Rogue State Revolution. Please, let's stay focused on Basenji and bringing her to greatness. We must take care of our beautiful motherland, our glorious fatherland, whatever we call it. Maybe our aunt? How come there's never an aunt? Why do they always call it the fatherland or the motherland? How come it's not like auntie? The auntie land of Basenji. Ah, yes. Auntie Basenji. There we go. Greatest of countries. You know what I just thought of? This game really reminds me a lot of, uh, of Borat, too. Oh, I wasn't trying to be mean to it. I'm just saying, like, logic. Okay, there we go. That was our glorious intro. I think they said something about Hot Pockets and Ramens in chat. Okay, uh, so I guess we have to start new because the version is different from the other version, and I don't really care. I want to play again. Wait, what is the difference between these three? Oh, yeah, min ma Oh, yeah, If you this is for if you're good at games over here. Uh, let's just go with the tutorial again because it's really freaking hilarious, actually. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, can we... Oh, you can actually adjust all these things now. Nice. Oh, is the map procedurally generated? Oh, I didn't know the map was random every time. That's cool. All right, well, let's just throw everything on, like, normal. Wait, what, did, what was it on before? Oh, there we go. Let's leave it on 100. 100% difficulty. I'm still a noob. I think this is the type of game where you want to play through it once and then try to make it harder and harder as you go on once you learn how everything works. And it's worth a second playthrough if we, if we get through this one. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, play. Oh, uh, let's see. A proud day for Basenji. Shall we add your surname to the history books? Yes, of course. Um... Oh, this loads so fast you never get a chance to read the backstory. I think there is a cutscene, though. Giddy up, yeah, we're going. Well, that ended badly. Somebody must have poisoned my tea. I bet it was that janitor. I see how he looks at me. Inauguration day again. This time I must do better. In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Gee, 12 parties ran? That's a lot of parties. Good morning, Your Excellency. Were they all My birthday parties? Sina. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed, you will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side. No matter what. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glory. It's like Command and Conquer, dude. Absolutely. Dude, the guy on the left, now that I heard his voice for a second time, he reminds me of, like, some of the voice actors in Command and Conquer Generals. He, that guy must have voiced some of the units or the cutscenes of Command and Because it would always start with, like, oh, what would, how would they... Like, General... He would, like, say stuff like, General, 
allied forces are using this area as a supply zone. We must crash. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I love that. I love that so much, dude. Whoa, midnight with the hundo saying happy birthday. Well, soon. But thank you very much for the happy, happy birthday wishes, my man. That's very nice. Thank you, dude. Wow. Can we have more shoes? Yeah, exactly. I swear, man. I love that. If you don't like that voice acting, you don't remember those golden days of, like, Command and Conquer. Happy and, uh... Day. Oh, thank you, dude. Alright, let's go. Yeah, these are all the uh, units from Command and Conquer. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, who did we go with last time? Oh, wait, actually, uh... I remember on the main menu you could pick different people, but I think you gotta, like, play the game a little bit more, and then you unlock more people. Okay, let's go with, um... Let's see. Frugal, let's put that dude in charge of finance, then he'll save us money. Uh, Minister of Natural Resources. Tariq can be a part of our... Oh, he's already taken, okay. Uh, let's see, Ministry of Development. Selfish and popular. Let's put this guy in charge of defense. Okay, there we go. So we got our Department of Development, Defense, Finance, and Resources. Very good. Good. Know that every 12 months, you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry, should you choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And more people to keep happy. Ah, uh, yeah, people can die. Your ministers can die in this game of old age and stuff. Uh, my birthday is on Tuesday, but I'll be doing some giveaways and stuff. Extra giveaways this weekend, since obviously everyone will probably be home. And hopefully more people can win some Excellent. giveaways. While you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. Are you interested in hearing it? Uh, yes, ma'am, please. Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost a single action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Think of this as political capital to get things done. Tell me more. I've learned that our national power plant has not received <gasps> a fuel shipment in weeks. No. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. Let me guess, you want me to take some scorpion tanks and... Oh wait, that's a different game. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant, and electricity can be restored to SNG. Build the roads by click-dragging a line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. You got it, ma'am. Uh, greetings, Mr. Raptor. Hello, Northern Alex. Is this map different than uh, what we played before? I hope so. I think the map is different each time. Let's see. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure our map is different. It looks like it is, anyway. Yeah, I think this map is, like, different each time. That's why we selected stuff differently. Okay, cool. Okay, I understand, ma'am. Let's build some roads. Beep, beep. Bah, bah, bah. Uh, is that the developer? No. <laughs> the developer is, uh, Red Dog Studios, I think? A little, little Red Dog Studio? Something dog. It's Clifford. Clifford the Big Red Dog developed this himself. Okay, uh, we need to connect this to the road and to the power plant. So let's make one nice road here. Roads. All right, let's build a road. Well, we'll just connect these two together, I guess, to start. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and bulldoze roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select Upgrade in the road menu. You know what I'd really like it right now is if somebody appeared in chat called uh, Radar Van. Can someone please make a fake Radar Van account and subscribe to the channel and start chatting? I just I just want to see the Radar Van from GLA, from Command & Conquer Generals. Uh, have I tried the Emergency 112 yet? No, I got an email about that today. The sequel? I'll have to play that soon. Uh, the game does have Rebels, yeah, yes. Everyone sub to my channel, because it's all about me. Okay, click on any road segment and upgrade. Okay. Uh, boom. Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. 
In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map will help you see the big picture of the Senji. New construction options. Our base is under attack. You can also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons, or by pressing Q or E. Thank you, ma'am. Finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants, and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That sort of thing. Tell me more. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From there, choose the agricultural field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. Okay, this is a good spot to build some farms right here. So let's do it. I understand, ma'am. Time to do some farming. Gotta make them hot pockets somehow. All right, agricultural fields. I think I'm gonna get out of the way, just so you guys can see more of the game. But uh, again, if we hit our giveaway goal, I will be dropping keys on our Discord. So be reminded to uh, smash that join button. For my birthday, I'm giving you some cool stuff. Yeah, let's construct here. A farm just outside of town. Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. Good. Bum, 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 bum. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months because removing UN aid workers will come with a severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. Whoa. Oh, are these all like, uh, oh, these are all like, um, cultural sites or whatever of our cultural heritage. Yeah, I mean, if you look closely, you can see there's like an old Wendy's, a Taco Bell, a Pizza Hut, Taco Bell again. And then that one Pizza Hut by your house that got turned into a spirit Halloween last year and it was kind of weird. And you were like, wasn't that a Taco Bell last year or something? Or KFC? Wait, no, it's a, spa a spirit Halloween. What the hell? Okay, cool. Tell me more. For now, though, I think we can weather it. Click on our UN camp and dismantle it now. Okay. Uh, danger to myself gaming. Thank you for becoming a raptor hatchling. Welcome aboard. Boom. Get we wrecked. could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Or what? Alternatively, we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Saba. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basenji Civil War. Hmm. Tell me more about the war. The choice is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field. Or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded. Let's see. Future-proof the economy and construct another field or do the hospital. I think I'm going to build a hospital. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's our little radar van. <laughs> there it is. Uh, let's build the hospital. Well, not up there. Let's build it down here. But it has to be built in the city? Oh, well, that's a perfect spot right here. Well done, Excellency. Oh, thank you. Thank you for putting your faith in me. Well, thank you. You may have noticed that building is so nice. both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. For now, it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces, so you don't end up with a worker shortage. Of course, of course. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Our military is in a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. <laughs> oh, here we this go. This will be where all our military units are produced. Okay, so once we build this, then we get unlock the Scud Storm, and then we can fire on the uh, Chinese base nearby. Now, they'll try to attack us with Overlord tanks, but <laughs> luckily, well, Visenji is uh, ready for them. Ooh, look at this pretty city. That's gorgeous. I really wish I could do more of, like, actually laying Dang out the it. cities, but it's all good. Uh, Battlemaster. Oh, Battlemaster Tanks reporting. Excellent. Thank you very much. 
thank you very much for jumping into our uh, apparently Command and Conquer General stream. No! This Rogue State Revolution available now. Okay, let's go. The tunnels will protect us. Yeah. Everybody remembers. Okay, build a military base. Right. Uh, if we build a base, we should probably put it near one of our neighbors. Who hates us the most? I don't know if we can tell at the moment. Let's just, uh, let's see, one, two, three neighbors are what we have. One, two, three. I think we should put it, um, hmm, near a major city, but somewhere where we can protect our border. This might be a good spot here. All right, let's build a military base. And we'll put it, uh, we'll put it, like, right here. That's a good spot. Excellency. Oh, wait. Now it's my time. He doesn't talk. Excellency. We've used up all of our action points this month. Let us reconvene next month. Uh, wait. What was that guy's name? Ta what was the chemicals guy named? Toxin tractors will <laughs> be efficient against infantry and in garrison troops. All right, go. Good well, morning, well. Excellency. Ah, good morning. Yusef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. Oh, what, what? What, that somebody can click or tap join and become a member today? Are you, oh, yeah, that's, that is hard to believe. An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. Oh, yeah, Dr. Thrax, that was it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, somebody has a Metal Gear? An unlicensed vehicle. Uh-oh. I may have made a big mistake. All right, tell me more. Sir, we're live streaming right now. You're interrupting our stream. Why, why are you doing... Are you troll? Are you trolling right now? Why would anyone do that? For attention and lack of self-worth. Uh, because it's awesome? Whoa! It's actually quite annoying. Hello! Can anyone hear me? I am stuck inside this armored bipedal tank and have lost system control. Oh boy. Although this is probably also a threat to our national security, thankfully we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. Okay, sir, we're gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units, including whatever that thing is. He says all units have a role to play in combat. Well, we know the most important role of all, don't we? Alright, let's go ahead and train a helicopter. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the Happy unit, then click Denver. dragging a line Keep to the target. Raptor. Uh, thank you very much, Brahmin. Appreciate that. Birthday is soon. Thank you guys for the kindness. Alright, airborne troops. Oh, this guy looks badass. 37th Helicopter Squadron. We're going to go ahead and call this the... Let's see... Uh, there we go. Excellency. Attack. Fire! Wow! Get wrecked. <laughs> well. Outstanding. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully, his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Yeah, he's probably insured. He could also save fifteen percent or more by switching to Geico. I hope he did. Thank you. I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions. I never stopped to think if I should. Right. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. 
Uh, Ministry of Finance, got it. Setting our tax policy to be regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this war, but maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to be regressive now. Are you sure you want to alter this policy direction? Yes. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Defense. Going live to the Ministry of Defense. Checking in live. Over time, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. Uh, this guy looks like a older Jeff Goldblum. At least to me. Uh, tell me more, ma'am. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. Hmm. Yes, tell me more. You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you, but we'll probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. Yeah, I would like to do that, but not yet. Let's see, what do we got? Psychological warfare, long range. Uh, what is that? ASM. Air to surface missile? Oh, acquire air to surface missile it is, yeah. Well, we do have helicopters so far. Give your helicopters plus one attack range. That sounds pretty useful. We do like our helicopters so far. Ministers who are not given research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. Oh. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. Oh, really? So, based on who we pick, they'll just research what they want? Oh, that's going to be interesting. Tell me more. We should suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now. Uh, let's go to development. Okay. Let's start researching some other stuff. Uh, let's see, internet surveillance. Now nah, let's not do anything crazy yet. Let's do stuff that'll get us money. Ooh, toll roads will really make, make people mad. Oh, we can earn $15 a turn? Whoa, that's awesome. All right, toll roads sound good. Well, we are rebuilding the country and that's gonna require money, so let's go. I mean, we are coming out of a civil war. Uh, prioritize car, fiscal responsibility, prioritize sustainability, Basenji net, ooh, open internet, internet censorship, plus public safety, negative entertainment, regulated internet, open internet. Let's go with the open internet for now. I can remember last time our people were pretty well behaved. They, we didn't really need like so many police stations or high police funding. Everyone was more focused on like getting back to work and minding their P's and Q's because the Civil War just took place and everyone wanted to, they were sick of fighting. They wanted to get to work. Uh, let's see, I understand. Okay, so we're researching toll roads and we've changed that policy. Uh, gray area, international security rule of law. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine for now. Consume power. Or ration power. I think we're okay on that. Exploitative or stewardship. Oh, for the environment. And eh, we'll go exploitative for now so we can get money. Uh, no minimum wage, minimum wage, guaranteed minimum wage, in minimum income. Ooh, entertainment increases. Ooh, that loses us 15 per turn, though. So the toll roads could pay for that. Why would that increase uh, entertainment, by the way? Wouldn't... Hmm. Uh, let's see. Casino. Wait, did I do something for her? No research yet. Let's do research. Uh, we could do hydropower, wind power, or solar power. Let's build a hydroelectric dam. That sounds pretty sweet. And let's do casino, offshore banking, regulate cryptocurrency, tax credits, super notes. Uh, we can mass produce high quality counterfeit, whoa, counterfeit United States $100 bills in bulk to gradually increase our treasury. If we get caught, however, we're in big trouble. Oh, damn. Uh, prohibit unions, worker compensation. Wow. Youth labor. 
Uh, relax building codes. Wait, state investments. New options in the budget menu allow you to invest treasury surplus and secure future of our people. Oh, this gives us more options to spend money on? Okay. Great. Research will be conducted faster when the minister has a great deal of respect for you. Unhappy ministers may not do any research at all. Bum, 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 bum. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. Let's review our national budget. You got a plan? Okay, tell me all about your plan, ma'am. What is your plan? National budget review. Very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can increase our national treasury. Okay, tell me more. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Vesenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. But look at these ministry expenses. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Tell me more. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. Because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking out loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. Tell me more. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find resources and sell them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. Good. Good. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. I understand. All right, let's do some budgeting, kids. Our favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, that. those are the pictures the kids love. Oh, yeah, GameStop stocks right there. Okay, let's do some budgeting. Economic health, intelligence, power generation. Oh, we're at least pro producing some power. That's good. Make budget cuts until the cash flow is positive. Okay. Wait, where's the uh, button to go to the, the budget? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, these are metrics for each uh, district. That's good. Bum, bum, bum. There's our review budget button. Boom. Okay, boy, oh boy, do we have to make some cuts. Okay, we gotta make a cut of five. Oof, we gotta cut D. Anything over three? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and start by cutting subsidies until we've researched enough. Su we don't really have a lot going, so we'll research some. Uh, tourism we're gonna cut because nobody's really visiting at the moment. Education's good. That's the future of our glorious nation. Health is good. Don't want anybody else dying. Conservation. Eh. Oops. Oh, oh, darn it. My finger slipped a few times in a row. Darn it. Oh, well. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Okay, let's do it. Click on the Palace of Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the Palace Fast Access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. Okay, let's train a resource surveyor. Wait, oh, I understand. Wait, am I train? Oh, we have to do it next month. Good morning, Excellency. Morning. Click on the surveyor you just trained to reveal all the potential Excellency. resources in this by exploring these sites, we can potentially uncover new resources for our economy. There is a possible resource deposit located on a tile not far from this current location. Drag him to the nearest tile with a potential resource deposit. Note the black pin. And click Survey Adjacent Tiles from the Surveyor Interface. Very well. Excellency. Boom. 
We found oil, baby. Another right on the border, too. Well, this is helpful. Not all resource deposits pan out, so sending surveyors across Basenji to check them all will be necessary. Good. Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from the construction menu. Hopefully all the con all the uh, smoke and smog and stuff from the refinery blow down into our neighbor. Okay, let's see. Construction. Oil refinery. Excellency. Move. So you might want to move. You're about to be now constructed. Now our nation has two oil refineries. One is sending oil to our power plant. Perhaps we can sell the oil from this one to one of our neighbors. At least, while well, we don't have a demand for plastics yet in Basenji. Click on the diplomacy menu. Good. Relations with those other nations we share a border with can be tricky. If we can maintain a strong, positive relationship, we can mutually prosper from expanding trade. If they grow to hate us too much, we may find ourselves invaded. Our relationship will depend greatly on their interests, which are not immediately known to us. Spending intelligence on research is one way to better understand these interests. Uh, is it sunflower oil? Yes. If we learned anything from Austria, it's that uh, oil is... Uh... Interestingly enough, oil actually makes money in these games. Did you guys know that? I had no idea. In addition to their relationship with us, these neighboring states also have their own internal stability to be concerned about. A collapsing neighbor means lots of refugees seeking asylum in our borders, in addition to other challenges to manage. Take notice as well of the three major powers interested in influencing the future of the region. The United States of America, the Russian Federation, and the People's Republic of China. Oh, what about nuclear power? That's a pretty good power. Or Palpatine. That's unlimited power. If any one of these powers sees us as a threat to their interests, we may find ourselves in a war we cannot possibly win. On the other hand, if we can eventually improve our relations to the point where an alliance is achieved, the others may leave us alone. Okay. Let's see if any of our neighbors happen to have an interest in Basenji crude oil. <gasps> Once they're on the phone, select Negotiate Trade and click the Export tab. Then, make an offer to export oil. Oh, we gotta export to this guy? He's like in the north. Uh, greetings, Excellency. My name is Pri uh, Prime Minister Rashid Nazarian of the Free State of Ajikistan. Congratulations on your recent election. The people have chosen wisely, wisely to watch your live stream and make sure that they turn on the notification bell so that way they never miss a stream. Our two nations have a proud history of mutual cooperation, so please don't hesitate to contact me for anything you might need. Okay. Well, I would like to contact you about trade, sir. Oh, wow, there's like a whole history on the nation, too, that you can read about. We're going to exploit exploit and some Earl. Let's exploit some Earl. Whoa, monthly income of eight on that one. Nice. We are pleased you were able to assist us. Okay, we'll ensure the payments to your producers are timely. Good. Oh, we're cordial. Good, we're, we're good. So that nation is to the north, I think. Yes. Uh, couldn't be further away. I think they're up there. Yep. Okay. Reconvene. Wait, that's a little weird. Oh, it, if you zoom out far enough, it goes to a different color. Cool. Yeah, you just call a country. You know how it is. China? Hi, how you doing? Cool. Yeah, I'm good too. Okay, love you too. Bye. Tell me more. Not bad at all. We'll need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint, or oh else God. our oil will never reach them and no money will be earned. So you're telling me we gotta make a national highway now to export Earl? So we gotta make a road from the oil refinery to the main highway, and then uh, from here to there. Gotcha. Let's build, baby, build. Good. Oh, what is that place? Oh, it's like a little, it's a little small village. Cool. Bom, 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 bom. Wait, uh. Oh yeah, another road. I guess we could make it go to the city? Now nah, let's have a go to the Very road. Very good. Make sure your surveyor is on his way to find new resources for us. Over time, resource producing buildings will experience corruption. Greasy hands will start cutting into our national bottom line. You should hire a facilities inspector from the palace at Mejimra to travel between your resource producers and address this. Okay. 
Perfect. The facilities inspector has an action that allows you to eliminate corruption at the crews in the resource producing yes. buildings. Excellency. All right, sir. I want you to go up here and check this out. Very well. Yes. And I'd like you to stop I corruption, right ma'am. Uh, if you can. Oh, there she goes. Yes. And please decorrupt. I guess she has to do that next time. Oh, I could have did it right there. Is there an undo button? Oh, well. Excellency. Okay, start searching for oil. Earl. Very well. Excellency. No noteworthy deposits, yes. darn. She should be able to do a state inspection. We have one more move point. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. We'll do it next time. Surveyors, facilities, inspectors, and clerics can consume an action point to double their movement distance. Keep this in mind if you find yourself with extra action points. Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Again. Intelligence reports that a small contingent of rebels and dissidents calling themselves the Besenji Liberation Front are on the move toward what's left of that armored bipedal vehicle. Oh, hell no, that's my vehicle. The Besenji Liberation Front? They're a small union of various interest groups with the united goal of destabilizing our democracy and removing you from power. What could they want with a pile of metal junk in the deep desert? Regardless, reports indicate they are armed and we must respond with force, Excellency. If the public feels we can't keep them safe, we may end up playing right into the insurgents' agenda. Hmm, okay. Tell me more. Our units start fiercely loyal to our regime, Excellency. Just be aware that the military is looking for you to make smart decisions. Oh, well, uh, that's... Well, that's game over, boys. Game over. F's in chat. Sending units on suicide missions, making poor choices, and making our nation into a laughingstock may result in our soldiers doubting your leadership and side with the enemy. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. Hmm. Okay, we need more units then. Uh, I think the mortar would probably be effective. Excellency. Fire! Excellency. Wait, the helicopter can't shoot from there? Excellency. Understood. Oh, yeah, they can. Excellency. Yeah, get wrecked. For Basenji. Okay, we'll see you next month. Oh, we gotta name our mortar unit. Any good ideas for mortar unit names? Uh oh. Good morning, Excellency. Hello. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. Well, I'm pretty sure they already reached the wreckage. Excellency. Fire. For Basenji. Excellency. Mortars. Fire. Understood. Yeah, get wrecked. Great work, Excellency. It would be prudent to have forces spread throughout the nation to address whatever threats may come our way. Excellency, as important as our national defense is, I will show you how to stay in power by balancing the differing interests of liberals and conservatives, religious and secular citizens, even urban and rural populations. Let's start by examining how we are doing, province by province. Click on Banifa in the right sidebar. Okay. The upper graph shows your current approval levels in Banifa by demographic over the past 10 months. If they get too displeased with you, the rebels will be emboldened. The lower graph shows that province's ratings for prosperity, education, health, safety, the environment, and entertainment. Keeping these from getting too low in all five provinces is going to be crucial if you want the people to stay content. In many provinces, our environmental ratings are falling, a few are getting particularly low. Let's talk about what we can do about that. Go ahead and click anywhere to close the provincial detail panel. Traffic congestion can restrict the flow of goods, and more importantly, drag down your regional environmental, entertainment, and prosperity ratings. Let's check the traffic lens to see if this is the case. Oh, wow. Yeah, traffic actually affects out 
output and stuff. That's some City Skylines level stuff. Most of the roads are tinted green. It appears the traffic is not currently a bottleneck for us. If too many industries export goods on the same roads, you will eventually want to upgrade those roads by clicking on the road segment and pressing the Upgrade Roads button. So, let's consider what else we can do to improve our environmental rating. At the provincial level, you can increase funding to conservation, but this will increase your treasury expenses every turn. You could also construct a nature preserve or public gardens to improve your environmental rating, which have a larger one-time cost. At the nationwide level, we can make some policy changes. They might not cost us any money, but they will likely result in other trade-offs for consideration. In the Ministry of Natural Resources, we can ration power and sacrifice our entertainment rate in all provinces for our environment rating. We can also change our governing principles from an exploitation perspective to a stewardship perspective. Ooh, pretty. There is no one way to accomplish anything. The choice is yours as to how you want to proceed. You are the glorious leader. Yay, I certainly am. Okay. Well, we've only got a few um, civilian units to yes. do, so let's stop corruption. Oh, we can't. She really doesn't want to do that state inspection, does she? Uh, let's go up the road and check out this site. Very well. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow, he actually takes the road. Can we give him a car, maybe? Uh, is he really doing wind sprints down the uh, the highway? Okay. Oh, he's the most physically fit government worker we have. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes, he is. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I guess she can't move anymore. Uh, we're good on this. Hmm, what other actions can I do? Excellency. I guess we'll patrol the area. Excellency. And we'll keep these guys close to the military base just in case. Bum, bum. I don't think there's anything else we can move, so let's go on to the next one. Although we have more action points, maybe I should do some more stuff. How much cash do we have? Uh, 315. Whoa. Damn, they gave us some uber dollars. Maybe we should uh, produce more food? We could always do this for export. I know eventually, now that I've played the tutorial once, we will need to produce more food in order to export it. And that'll require, like, manufacturing plants from the oil refinery to start making it into actual, like, meals. So let's do, like, some pizza roll uh, factories over here. It says agricultural field, but I think it actually... I think they meant to say, uh... Yeah, I think it's actually a pizza roll factory. Pretty sure. All right, let's build a farm here. And let's build another farm. Where did we build our first one? Oh, yeah, there. Let's build another one up here. Just outside of the cities. I think this... Is this connected to a road? Yeah, if it's connected to a city, it's technically connected to a road. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're at 255. I don't want to spend too much money. Anything else we can build? Oh, anything we want, really. Oh, a nuclear reactor. Wow, we can build that now? Before we can build a hydro dam? Huh. Uh, we could build mines, seaports, international airports, building of faith, intelligence agency, clandestine site, museums, public gardens. I think eventually the uh, ministers will ask us to build stuff for them, so we better save our money until we're asked. Uh, let's go on. We're just saving money. Good morning, Excellency. Bum, 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 bum. Good morning. There is no one way to accomplish anything. The choice is yours as to how you want bum, to proceed. Bum, 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 you bum, are bum, the bum. glorious leader. I know. Okay, I wanted to get some more cash. Now we got it. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we could build a nuclear reactor. We just got to do something to do the environment, which could be increasing the budget for that, but now that we got a little more cash after that move, let's finally do a we did last time, which is the, uh... Oh, that only gives a rating to... Hmm. 
Well, we could do the public garden, but where's that other thing I like? The uh, oh, we oh we can build embassies too. I'm awesome. Why? Thank you. Appreciate the positivity and the support and kindness. That's awesome. Nice to have you here. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Uh, let's see, where's that natural uh, thing that we can build? I guess we'll have to build that. Government, resource, society, high tech. I guess we can go with the gardens. That improves the environment a little bit. There's like a, a, like a national park you can build, but this is different than that. You can build a time machine? Yeah, it's kind of part of this whole game's how it all goes. Hi there, Alloy the Defender. Good to see you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I guess we can build it up here. Or where would tourism be best? I guess over here would be where a lot of tourists could go, so let's also make it look pretty. Let's build it uh, over here. There we go. Good. It will take time to see the results of these improvements. So, as a longer-term goal, I would suggest you think about building more agricultural fields, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant with a view to getting processed food production online before your citizens start to demand it. Tell me more. Hi, Baron. Good to see you in our chat. Welcome back, ma'am. Notice the resource production and demand icons on the right sidebar. These are the five products that cities may grow to demand over time. The left number under each product represents how much you are producing at present, minus any products consumed in order to produce other products. Uh, how hungry am I? Uh, 42. The right number represents how much of that good is demanded by our cities at this time. It's possible for us to produce more than what is demanded. When this happens, consider exporting the surplus to a friendly neighbor. Okay, This you is got how it. we make money. Tax dollars will not be enough. We need to start building production chains to manufacture processed foods, household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Sell them to our neighbors at first with trade agreements. Then, when urban citizens start to demand them here, we will sell to our own people as well. Processed food should come first. Hold the mouse over the processed food icon in the right sidebar. Uh... Oh, Processed there. food is going to require more farms, more oil refineries, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant. Yay. We will also need them all connected by roads. Yeah, that's why when we were uh, when we had to build the park, that's why I went the, with the farms instead because I knew it was coming. A little, a little uh, foresight, I guess, for anybody with hindsight. Okay, let's build ourselves a. I guess we got to build ourselves a manufacturing plant after a plastics factory. Thankfully, we already have extra oil that we're exporting. If you construct a plastics factory in a manufacturing plant and connect them to the road network, the oil will automatically be diverted to plastics production while you send yeah. a surveyor to seek up new deposits. Five site, that's right. Okay, I understand. Speaking of our surveyor, Excellency. let's make sure he keeps looking for Earl. Excellency, very well. We gotta go find this guy named Earl. He's around here somewhere. We gotta find more of him. Excellency. Uh, a little closer. Very well. Excellency. There we go. Hey, hey, there you are, Earl. We found you. Okay, so now we can build another oil refinery and another manufacturing plant. So we're going to do all of our oil refining on the coast, and we could probably do some farming at both these cities, and then connect everything at this city. And then, boom, we have ourselves exports going north. Or where, whoever takes uh, prepared food. What is it called? Processed food, right? Okay. Let's build ourselves a plastics factory. Bum, bum. I guess we can build that near the refinery. Close by makes sense. All right, then the next thing is um, the manufacturing plant. So I think we can build that over here somewhere.
good. Uh, this should produce... Oh, what are the other things? Household goods, consumer electronics, or luxury goods. Fantastic. Any food or processed food purchased by our citizens or by other countries is money Yay. that goes straight into our pockets. Keep an eye on your production chains and aim to produce at least eight a turn. Over time, you should be surveying more resources or importing what resources you need in order to produce household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Well, I'm going to build another refinery. As important refinery. as our economy is, you might also want to consider as a longer-term goal trying to grow our intelligence capabilities. Building an intelligence agency and training spies will help us find BLF camps hidden across our region. May your kingdom region. last long and your heart be at peace. Long. Live. Raptor. Oh, thank you, dude. Sabu with the 50. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for your support. And finally, keep an eye on your worker count. The only way to get more workers in the Senji is to open the country up to more immigrants. And that's something you need to negotiate with our neighboring countries. Ah, we need more workers for more money. Good. Very good. Let's do it. Immigrants are valuable members of our society, but if our relations with their country of origin go poorly, you can expect their approval of our government to falter as well. Wow, so you send me your government, your uh, immigrants, but then you get mad at whether or not they're having a good time? I note that there are certain uh, emergency measures that can be used to relocate your population within the SNG in the event of a worker crisis, but they're ugly solutions. We can talk about them if it becomes necessary. I think we've bombarded our glorious leader with enough information, Yusuf. Let's go. Good luck, Excellency. Thank you. Uh, improve environment quality in... Oh, that's a different goal. Uh, produce 80 processed food per turn. All right, well, before we do that, I'm certainly going to get all that Earl. We're going to get that Earl first. Ah, oh, we're out of turns. Come on, I want to... Excellency. I want Earl. Oh, we can actually expedite if we want. Oh, no, we're out of turns. Uh, let's see. What's the other thing we can do? Yes. Ma'am, can you make sure things aren't corrupt? Oh, okay. Money's going down. Well, all the building we're doing. Ooh, look at the... The towns look pretty at night. They actually light up. Similar to Tropico? Um, kind of. A little bit. But more like Civ 6. A little bit of... Feels a little bit just a smidge like Anno with the whole production stuff. It's got a little bit from every city builder you've ever played. A little military in here. A little city building. Little, little Civ 6 kind of. More like that. All right, let's go on to our next turn then. Excellency, these numbers represent civilian and military units that don't have any movement orders assigned. You may want to consider sending them somewhere before ending your turn. Nah, we don't have to move the military. We're good. Our nation's students are calling for a law that explicitly prohibits all form of discrimination against LGBTQ citizens. Fundamentalist clerics are warning you against making such an overt declaration of support. We know that some religious Basenjis support LGBTQ rights, but we have no reliable polling data on how many. Agree, agree to justice reforms... Uh, requires Ministry of Justice. Refuse entirely. You make the laws around here. Uh, what is this one? Imply rights through policy guidance rather than explicit law. Oh, that's kind of more, more balanced. Wow, that's our first decision. Wait, you, you want a law that prohibits all forms of discrimination against citizens? Well, that seems fine. Equal equal rights, or whatever. Okay. Let's go for that. Uh, greetings, Excellency. Demand for oil grows. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, we're way ahead of you, guy who slightly looks like a. Uh, guy. Wait, who does he look like? He looks familiar. It's like Jeff Goldblum, but with a beard. Everybody in this game is Jeff Goldblum, but just with different facial hair. Okay, uh, let's see. Are you able to provide us uh, nine every month? 
Uh, oh, hell yeah, I could I could up those exports. Let's go, baby. You want... All right, we'll send Earl right over. Earl's on his way. Objective complete. Infantry brigade. Oh, hell yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so now we've got... Uh, Oil being turned into plastics. Plastics being turned into uh, meals with all the farms nearby. Beautiful, baby. All right, how's the corruption? Are things very corrupt? 2%? Like milk? Okay, not too corrupt yet. Excellency. All right, we got to get this guy looking for... Uh, which way do we go? I guess we could go west. There we go. Oh, he looks like uh, Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. Yeah, a little bit. He looks like a bearded Mark Ruffalo. Wow. Uh, we could use the ex. I think we should expedite. I don't know if we're going to do anything, any other building at this point. We are producing 80 uh, food now. Increase oil exports is our current goal. Also, everybody's going to want more food soon. Okay, well, let's build this uh, construction site for the refinery. We'll just focus on Earl. Plastic being turned into meals. How is that possible? Well, basically, we're taking food from the farms, and then I'm assuming they're putting it into, like, uh, like baggies of fresh vegetables or whatever so they can be microwaved. Uh, let's see. Build roads. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, that's done. It's way crazy how quickly a uh, power a power plant or a, a refinery is built, though. That's kind of nice. When you find a resource, you can pretty much immediately use it. Also, this is just being sent to the power plant, but maybe there could be some to export? Is it like 100% going there? Yeah, oil is also uh, harvested and refined at the same site. So basically, this is an oil well and an oil refinery in one, so it can actually be used. Okay, so we're plus 139. We've got a couple moves left. Ministers are all researching stuff. I feel like we could be more productive here. What's our budget surplus? Ooh. Plus nine surplus. I think that's good. Okay, um... Tourism data? Ah, we don't have to worry about that right now. So, if we make this oil refinery... Oh, they want more exports of oil, though, so we should probably just let that just produce pure oil. Pure Earl. Alright, let's have our expedited uh, surveyor move. Excellency. Yes, I'd like to expedite that movement, sir. Very well. Yeah. Excellency. Uh, promote unit. Spend one favor from the Minister of Natural Resources to promote. Tier 2 Cartographical Insight. Only assured resources deposit. Oh, this, this would save us time. Oh, I'm going with that. Oh, it's a scam. There was nothing there. So now we know exactly where they are. Okay. They're all on the borders. Why is all of our oil on the border? Except for that one. Oh, man. Well, this might not be oil either. This might be uh, minerals like gold or copper or whatever. Okay, well, at least we know that was uh, not going to get us anywhere. All right. Well, that was good to know. Bum, 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 bum. 139, I get it. Uh, are we trading? Yeah, we're, we're doing some trading with somebody right now. We're, we're actually being tasked with exp uh, increasing exports. In fact, what are we uh, trading with them right now? Uh, here's the prices, but what's the number of export? I don't know exactly what we're exporting so far. Uh, negotiate trade. Export. 
Uh, we're not producing anything that they need. Oh, it must be because it's not a new deal. What? Oh, I, is there a way to see our current deal? Uh, making the most of your action points. Change policy direction, adjust your expenses, engage in diplomacy. Civilian special units, construct road and buildings. Um, Alright, we'll build another farm. I kind of want to not build stuff, but... Uh, we're going to build anything else. we got to find it natural resource-wise. Oh, there was the nature preserve. I finally found it. Bum, 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 bum. It's in diplomacy. Oh, click on the icon. Uh, hold on. Nah, I can I can click on it, but it's not doing anything. Thanks for all the entertainment and an awesome community. Well, thank you guys for being awesome. Uh, I don't... I don't see it, but we know exports will go up based on... That's ah, okay. I'll figure it out. I wonder if we can actually uh, do it this way. Oh, yeah, we can also split whether this goes to uh, National Power Grid Plastics or Exports. And we can see here that right now we're producing 164 farms, 197 oil, 99 of which is going to the plastics factory. So that means that we're getting an export of over uh, 80. Well, actually, maybe some's going to the uh, power plant, so we might need more oil. Even more. Well, let's increase some of the policies. No, let's not do that either. Build road? No, I don't know. I want to do something, but I don't want it to cost any money. <laughs> That's the whole point of life, I guess. Oh, we have high-tech stuff, so we can build a launch. Yeah, there's the, the time machine. Forward operating base. We could build another military base too, but that might get a little expensive. Let's do something to improve the environment a little bit more. So we built one over here. Let's go for the major cities, try to increase their, their love. Um, ooh, let's build a little park there. There we go. We don't really need to move the military, so we're good. Ah, three gunmen opened fire in a crowded restaurant in Zanha today. Fifteen people were killed and 23 were injured. A new fundamentalist extremist group calling itself... Oh, boy. Uh, Elt... Blah, blah, has claimed responsibility. They're demanding that you release several Basanji prisoners incarcerated for their political views. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. This is going to be a rough one. Not enough intelligence for this. We're too dumb. Uh, offer sick condolences. Uh, have the prisoners executed in retribution. Have the prisoners released. Oh boy, what would you guys do? Of the available options, chat, one, two, or three, what would you do? Well, what do you guys think? Let's see what chat says. Not an easy situation. Not an easy decision. Oh, I like this music. You guys would have the prisoners executed in retribution for the... Uh, 15 killed and 23 injured. That could have consequences down the line. I'm playing the long game. It would be better to go through the, uh... It would be better to go through the first option to find those responsible, but we don't have enough intelligence. Wow, two, uh... Very, uh... Controversial decisions right at the start of the game. Makes you think. Alright, let's release the prisoners. Nah, I'm just kidding. 
offer condolences. Well, now we're going to have to focus more on the police. I would have rather have gone with the very first option, but unfortunately, we can't do that just yet. Greetings, Excellency. I'm just calling to voice my gratitude for the exports of oil. Oh, good. We increased our uh, exports, so they're happy. Uh, Babylistan would like uh, would prove a powerful ally if we improve relationship with them. I urge you to consider this. Ooh. Ah, maybe we can work together to uh, deal with that current problem. How do we get intelligence up? Oh, it's going up, but... Wow, it needs to be at 50? We've only started at 16. Well, that was definitely going to be a difficult uh, decision. Uh, Babylistan, how do we improve relationships with them? Diplomacy. Babylistan is... Babylistan is here. Diplomacy. Let's see. Yeah, the first option would have been way better, but uh, it requires an incredible amount of intelligence. Let's see. Oh, it looks like these guys want processed food, gold bars, and consumer electronics. Well, guess what? We have ourselves some processed food. Uh, greetings, Excellency. My name is Prime Minister Gaz uh, Ga Gazima? Gazima Farah of Babylistan, and I wanted to congratulate you on your recent election. I know Basanji has a grand future ahead of it, and I look forward to cooperating with you in future matters on, of mutual interest. I see. Set immigration quota or negotiate trade. Well, we'll we're going to go for trade, lady, and I have plenty of food for you. Don't forget to build a road connection. You got it. We'll export 30 processed food. Go. Uh, we are pleased that you're going to send us Wendy's. We would definitely like a six-pack of nugs with that sweet and sour sauce. Damn, does it hit good when those salty sea salt fries hit that frosty. Hey, yo, lol. Okay, that's weird. that is a weird phone call. Okay. Let's build that road. Road built for $2. That is, that's probably the best road ever. Listen, I've built many roads in, in games in my day, and that, that is a road. That is one hell of a road. Okay. Uh, oh, we're making a ton of money now. Economic health is skyrocketing. Good. Good, good. Very good. Bom, 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 bom. Well, no. The thing is, chat, the thing is, is we're going to give her the nugs for free, and then once we got her hooked, boom, we start selling her 20 at a time for double the price. That's the way we get her. That's the way it's got to go. Okay. Let's go for... Uh, we need another move. Oh, yeah. Let's have our boy head towards the... Uh, have our surveyor head towards the whatever this might be a mine perhaps unfortunately it's going to take us a long time to find all of our resources they're all like in the corners of the map except for that one I think we should just go this way we'll go uh, clockwise across the map wait did he already move Excellency. I would like you to go here sir oh it's got to be right click Bum, 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 bum. Ah, yes. We have our little chick tater, don't we? Man, somebody get this guy like a helicopter or something. Jeez. It's got to like walk all the way there. It's like big money for our government. Like, get him a ride. Okay, we got one more move left. Uh, let's see. Corruption, 3%. 1%. Yes. Is it, can, like, cities be corrupt? Train palace guards. Train facilities inspector. Uh, I think we're okay. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, build farms in the north. That might be good. I If we build farms, it's going to take about $30 each. So that would take uh, quite a bit of our money. I think I'm going to like just let it play out. Because right now our budget is sitting at plus 26. So if we wait a couple of turns, we'll then be able to buy something good and increase the budget. So it'll be double on the, uh, the public opinion. Because we'll actually invest back into the cities. And then with those people happier and more productive, boom, it'll go right into money once they start producing things at the factories. Boom. Boom. 
Uh, what else can I do? Oh, wow. She came with three favorites for us. That's great. Can she upgrade this yes. person? Oh, wow. Tier 2, she gets a sports car? What the hell? How come the facilities inspector gets a sports car and the other guy gets nothing? Well, actually, I guess it was just as good to eliminate the fake resources. Okay, let's do... Um, 43% capacity. Let's do um, another construction, I guess. it's It's got to be light. What can we do? Stadium? That seems good. No. Uh, na nature Preserve. I think we should just keep building like little parks across the map. Oh, that's 22. Actually, this increases entertainment and environment. And it looks like Saba could definitely use some more public gardens. Saba is here. Alright, let's increase them a little bit. Everybody gets a park, everybody gets a farm. We'll start there. We'll start with the environment and then start working on prosperity. There we go. Making some improvements. Alright, Saba's got some love. Give you guys some love. Another another park. Uh, we're out of turn, Stam. Alright, next turn. Roll them dice. Oh, here we go again. Uh, we've located a financial sponsor of the Basenji Liberation Front in Belgium. With our, with your permission, our intelligent operatives can have this person eliminated discreetly if we are caught. Could turn into an international fiasco. But we won't be caught. What? Unlikely, unlikely, certain. Plus one safety, plus one military unit. All right, chat, you make the decision on this one. I've already made my decision, too. I think we're going to think light-minded on this one. Let's see what will happen. However, keep in mind, it costs 10 intelligence points. Now, Belgium also has waffles and beer. So, uh... I think we're going to have to go to Belgium, boys. It would hurt... U.S. relations, and I think that's world relations, or maybe our neighbors, maybe. Do it. Do it. Okay, let's do it. Do it. Uh, did it actually hurt our relationship? I wasn't sure if... Oh, it doesn't look like it moved at all. Oh, wait, did it? Oh, yeah, I think it actually... Oh, yeah. If you draw a line here, it looks like it may have actually hurt our relate. Ah, whatever. Screw them. Excellency, <laughs> lots of people are very unhappy and have taken to protesting in the streets. This is not a good situation to be in, but there is still time to make things right. Let's do it. While a protest occurs in any city, the loyalty of any ministers from that city's province will drop by 1% every month. Tell me more. A protest that occurs in a city belonging to a province with low safety can turn into a riot. Riots are worse than protests. The loyalty of any ministers from that city's province will drop by 3% every month. Ooh, now it's getting interesting. I know we can't please everyone, but it may be prudent to take a closer look at what's happening. Click on the approval lens, and you will see parts of the country where you are truly hated. It hurts, but this is how we get better. See those red spots on the map? That's where your approval ratings are really bad. Click on some of the tiles in that region, and the citizens who live there will appear at the bottom of the screen. In my experience, unhappy people never shut up. If you hold the mouse over the citizens, a tooltip should yield some choice quotes about why they're so upset with you. Perhaps it's because you haven't given your political staff a raise in forever. Oh, how dare you, madam. Yeah, your, your public's mad at you because you're not paying the representatives enough. How dare you, madam. She wants a raise. Uh, okay, we can improve this if we build a nature preserve in Saba. Well, we're already aware of that. Seems like they're mad because they don't have enough nature? Okay. I guess. Uh, nature preserve. Where is that? There. And Saba is here. Well, let's build a lovely nature preserve. Uh, well, that would take up farmland. How much is this? 
Ah, who cares? Objective complete. Ooh, we did it. New policy unlocked, loyalty increased, minister favor earned. Good. Good. I just want to thank you for building the nature preserve. My constituents from Saba appreciate that you're addressing their needs. Uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> I have that missile you wanted. Oh, interesting. Uh, we've completed the new public policy on the long-range air-to-surface missile. Acquire air-to-surface missiles, mount on your helicopters, giving them plus one range. Hell yeah! Alright, let's do some new research. Uh, let's see, veterans benefits, forced relocation, advanced centrifuge, temporal displacement, uh, CBRN response, recon training. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Uh, most proficient soldiers are given specialized training, giving military plus one sight range. Yes, that sounds good. We can see him and we can shoot him further. Good. All right, we need to improve relationships with the neighbor, which I think we're working on because we're exporting processed food, so that'll just take time. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, let's see. So we need to improve relations here. Oh. Oh, this cycles through the cities. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. All right, well, that takes care of one region. We can help the prosperity in some of these other regions. What's our budget again? Budget's plus 27, so let's start showing some love to... Oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start increasing their expenditures. This should fix some things naturally. Honestly, one dollar is pretty weak, but that's why we got started that way. There we go. Confirm. Alright, that should fix some of that. Now, what do you guys want? Uh, let's see. Conservative, secular, ethnic, ethnic, Basenji don't feel safe. Okay, well, we increase the uh, safety budget. Uh, yeah, I think I think that was down in a few cities. We can issue bonds. Borrow 200 from private lenders. We'll have to pay interest. Eh. Yeah, well, let let's let things even out. Uh, so it looks like the conservatives are the most upset. Living in poverty, we should change the Minister of Citizenship, Cultural Policies, and I don't feel safe. Okay, that should help some of those. It's kind of cool how you can see, like, who they are and what they're... Like, more information about them and what they, what they think and feel. That's kind of cool. Wow, this, this lady is having a good time. She's like at a party. This, this she looks like she's at a football game or something. Yeah! Having some brewskis. Okay, so the conservatives don't oh feel my safe. God, Mom made pizza rolls! Yeah, she, she feels like uh, she did not get enough pizza rolls. Okay, so we need to increase their safety. So we had some budget changes, so that should help out. Stimulus checks? I don't think that's going to help safety. Excellency. That'd probably make them want to leave home and go spend money. Go buy a new whip. Excellency. Sir, can you, can you move down here, sir? Very well. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's go again. Yeah, we gotta keep making moves. Excellency. Oh, we can upgrade again. Mountaineering can move through terrain, including mountains, as though they were roads. Oh, damn. Oh, well, that's a good thing to have. He can go anywhere. Alright, let's uh, upgrade again. Let's see what the next tier is. Oh, this is full upgrade. Unit can pass through or end their turn in a city. Only assured resources are visible. Can maneuver through any terrain. Good. 
RR Grad Gaming, welcome aboard, dude. Thank you very much. We're getting closer to a giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for smashing that like button. Almost to the 300. Almost to our giveaway goal. Smash that join button. Become a member. Very well. Very good. Good. Okay, what else should we spend points on? I, th I think we're good. I don't know if I want to build anything else. I mean, I can't until we find more or Earl. We need to find some more Earl. Um... We could train another uh, resource surveyor and speed things up. Let's do that. Excellency, very well. All right, we'll have this guy work north. And he'll go up to where the actual resources are. We'll get it done twice as fast. And there might be more resources as we go along. Bum, 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 bum. Greetings again. I would greatly improve a regional stability if you were able to build closer ties with the People's Republic of China. Something to consider, at least. I mean, I could try. What do you want me to do? Bum, 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 bum. Increase standing with the People's Republic of China. They're not interested. I mean, I could try to build a... Uh, I could build an embassy. That might work. But first, I want to lock down these resources and get some money coming in. Excellency. No matter what we do, it's going to take money. Very well. Okay, he can take the road. Excellency. Oh, this guy's going to get straight there. Perfect. Very well. All right, let's see if this is oil. Excellency. Hey, there's Earl. Okay. Wow, this is in the middle of literally nowhere. Wow, if we build an oil refinery out here, it's gonna... It's like, there's nothing here. There's a few villages, but that's it. Okay, um... Uh, well, let's start unlocking these resources, because if we're gonna start dealing with anybody, we gotta have money. Embassy's gonna cost money. Everything's money. Let's build our oil, er, Earl, Earl refinery. Refine Earl. Bum, bum, bum. We'll give the villagers jobs. Well, they'll need an education to work at the Earl refinery. I think we should build a road over here. That seems like the closest option. Oh wait, roads are here. Can we build through the mountain? Oh, we can't make a mountain, Earl? Okay, well. I guess we'll just go straight up here to the military base. Yeah, that's how Earl Grey is made. Except, that, yeah, this is Earl Black. That's right. Black gold, baby. Excellency. Okay, so the next resource... I think that one's fake. Let's check this guy again to confirm. Excellency. Okay, that one's real, so we'll go to the one in the north. Excellency. We could probably try to... Actually, let's see if we can increase... Uh, yeah. Increase oil exports with this guy. Can we increase export? We're not producing anything they need. Except for... I think we have to repeal the trade agreement and then set it up again. Oh, that's okay. If we build these refineries, we'll find an exporter. Uh, what are we doing next? How far? How is the game so far? Pretty cool. It it really is. Um, I don't know. It feels a little bit like Hearts of Iron and Civ Six, and you know, it's kind of a game where it's like every decision you make is kind of challenging, and like you, you kind of qu question whether or not you should have did that, and it's kind of nice. You know what else is nice is that RR Grad has become a Raptor Ultimate member. My goodness, thank you very much for stepping up to the ultimate level of support. Very kind of you. Thanks again. Wow. Excellency. That's excellence. Very well. Oh, can you not move there? It's going to take a few turns. Well, let's see. Ma'am, you don't need to move. Oh, we have free infantry up here. Oh, nice. Excellency. 74th Infantry Brigade is in the north. Did we get a free unit, I guess? On our way. Well, let's move them to the city. 
And everyone else can basically just stay put. There's real no trouble at the moment. Enemies plotting. Oh well, I retake exactly what I just said. Totally the opposite. There's enemies everywhere. Excellency, I should remind you that next month marks the fifth anniversary of the Basenji Revolution. You will, of course, be expected to make a public statement. Are there other events you would like to plan for this historic day? Uh, we need a stadium. Hold a military parade celebrating our victory. Plus one entertainment, plus, ooh, plus four conservative approval. Excellent. That'll help uh, make a lot of people happy. All right, military parade it is. That's a no-brainer right there. Good. Okay, insurgents are here, so we definitely need to go protect our people. Now that we found them. Helicopters, you need to go engage. Mortars, let's keep them... Uh... We'll have to have units in, like, the north, center, and south. So let's put the... Um... Of course, these guys are closer to cities, though, so... I guess we'll keep these guys here, and the helicopters will go deal with these guys. Excellency. They're gonna go cause trouble in the cities. Excellency. Gotta get those choppers there. Uh, improve relationship, we're working on that. China, I guess, wants, uh... There's a rebel camp somewhere. They gotta be coming from here, then. We'll go look for that. China wants an embassy. Or at least the neighbors want us to build an embassy with China takes 20 bucks. Damn. Uh, China Trade Consulate. Ooh, wait a minute. That's for trade. Providing assistance to Chinese citizens in Basenji and connecting Basenji businesses to Chinese markets required for uranium import. Oh. If your relationship with China is strong. Oh, that's a way to get uranium. Oh, okay. So we can build the nuclear power plant at the start of the game, but... You can't do anything with it until you actually have an embassy to import uranium. Now, we have enough money. We're at 22. But, uh, uh, it's a little too soon to do. Wow, looks like entertainment is really happy. Let's take a look at that budget. Tourism and special events. Some people are really having a great time. Oh, great. Some of these places went from low to high. Good. Prosperity could do better, though. But we'll have to figure that out. What's up, Yahai? How you doing? Bum, bum, bum. Well, it looks like a lot of guys want to talk with us. Oh, good. The uh, All the trade is done. State invents, investments are increased. Good. Uh, let's see. A casino. Oh, man. I don't know what we could do. Wait, how... Did you switch this automatically, sir? To Guaranteed minimum income? Whoa. Negative 16 per turn? Damn. Government provides its citizens with an income regardless of whether or not they work. Well, to be fair, there was a war and there's not really a lot of jobs. Price floors established below which workers may not sell their labor. Regulate No re regulations exist to demand employers pay their workers a fair wage. Makes the country very attractive for international businesses, but also guarantees poverty. Mm. Well, our people are already poor anyway. Let's worry about research, though. Prosperity down. Prosperity up. And legal immigration approval. International security drops, though. How are we doing on health? Health seems to be good. We need to do something for prosperity, so let's do that. Uh, toll roads are in, uh, complete. Increased traffic congestion. That's fine. We need more research. Oh, now we can build tunnels. Okay. Uh, remove speed limits plus entertainment. Plus, plus entertainment because you can speed in your car. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, let's see. We need something that... Rural internet access, uh, bus fleet. Well, that improves the environment. Oh, well, that could be a good policy. Prosperity should be our number one, though. You'd think a bus fleet would allow us to get more people to work if they didn't have a car. Transportation hub would increase. 
Uh, Basenji's International Airport will become one of the... Oh, we have to build the International Airport first. Uh, he doesn't really have anything else to help us at the moment. Ooh, this would increase uh, public safety. Uh, prioritize sustainability. Public safety would increase, but that seems to only be a problem in one city or region. Uh, let's not research anything. Actually, we should start making more money now, too, because a lot of this research was costing us money. Hydropower is done. Sweet. That means we can focus on oil exports. Explain this game in three words. Um, uh, Sim City Country. Okay, uh, ration power. I need to do stuff to improve conservative approval. Um, ooh, strip mining. Uh, we don't really have any mines, though, at the moment. That would increase yields, but we don't have any mines at the moment. We probably will soon, though. Ooh, relationship with China would increase. Ah, let's do that one. Okay, we need to focus on that. China's likely to be our first trade partner, so we should focus on that, and we can invest our time into other things later. Relax building codes. Public safety would plummet, though. But prosperity seems to be a large problem. Oh, he's already researching anyway. We'll do relax building codes next. Okay, what could I do with this guy? There's really not a lot of options here. Oh, I didn't realize we could scroll down. Oh, dear God. I didn't realize there was a scroll down for him. He's the only one I did... Oh, he's the only one who has it. Healthcare and education. Oh, I did not know there was more. Well, this is good. Uh, let's see. Research. Uh, clean water initiative. Ooh, that's a good idea. Mandatory masks, useful in a pandemic. Uh, religious education, secular university, diplomatic school, scholarships. Ooh, that would increase education. Education is holding pretty well. Hmm. Yeah, rogue state revolution. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's three words too. Oh, we can set all of our policies here. Education access would go down, though. Conservative approval would increase, but we could do something to counteract that. We could do, do we could do natural nationalistic education, but also do scholarships. That would be a good balance. Two tier healthcare, privatized healthcare, and national healthcare. Regulated internet. Okay, we already got those. Let's do uh, a nationalistic education and offer scholarships. So we can get more people into school and they will believe in Basenji. What is this? Oh, the military par uh, parade when is planned. Okay. Some towns are starting to demand processed food. Oh, good. And we're delivering it. Excellent. We're meeting all of our goals. Good. Very good. Well, that education means that they'll be learning more about the country and, like, being more patriotic. So if we get more people into the patriotic Excellency. school, it kind of, like, is two birds with one stone. Everybody gets to go to school, but they have to learn about how awesome Basenji is. Very Which well. is true. It's the most awesome country in the world because I said so. Excellency... Very well. And I'm the Excellency, so you have to you have to agree. That's why chat's spamming golden ones in chat, because they have to agree. Excellency. Alright, let's do our Oh, we gotta go a little further. Excellency. Excellency. Just a little further, bro. Very well. Bum, 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 bum. Excellency. 
Oh, well, JM, you you could play this game however you want. You can, whatever your personal beliefs are, you could just do the opposite of everything you'd want to do. That's what I've done here is a, a few choices that I made are the opposite of which I would make in real life. And so it's interesting to see what those results are. All right, we can certainly build a lot of, uh, we can certainly build a lot more oil. I need mines, though. I hope we find some mines soon. We don't even have enough money to buy another oil refinery, but at least we know it's there. Okay, now we gotta go up there. Okay, we have another turn. Yes. Alright, ma'am. Eliminate corruption. Go! They are hiding anything. I find it. Corruption eliminated. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Excellency. Okay, the mortar can move here. Understood. We're gonna have to watch for these insurgents next month. Oh, good, they're coming to us. Perfect. Uh, what? You enter your office and find an unsealed envelope sitting on your desk. The note inside on sign reads, You're not the only one caught in a loop. Half security in the palace doubled. What? Okay. Things are getting weird. That was very weird. Excellency. Okay. Things are fine, chat. Calm down. Stop spamming lowercase j's. Everything's okay. Don't do it. We're okay. Very well. Oh, there's got to be a mine up here. Where's the other guy? Oh yeah, make your moves, bro. Very well. Excellency. No, everybody in chat is putting one lowercase J. No, don't do it. Oh, finally, we found a gold mine. Literally. Okay. Well, now we can start mining that. That'll get us some money. But will anybody buy it from us? Oh yes. Oh yes, they will. Oh wait, that's exports. Oh, you guys want gold bars? Perfect. Good. Well, that'll increase our relationship. Although these guys do not like us. Ah, we could start exporting gold to them. I should call them up. Oh, I right, guess who found gold, nerd? Get wrecked. Okay. Let's try to build ourselves a gold mine there. And immediately start trading. There it is. Perfect. Oh, that's cool. All right, now those mining policies would be useful, but we can do that next time. All right, so that should be able to go through the city. Oh, it's a tier one gold mine too. We can increase production eventually. Okay. What's up, nerd? Uh, greetings, Excellency. I want to introduce myself as General Khalil Sadi Abjumal of the Republic of Tajikistan. Congratulations on the recent election. Sincerely hope that your new regime will be more supportive member of the international community. Cool. Uh, we can export gold bars, bro. Wait, he wants gold or gold bars. Hold on. Let me check real quick. Uh, he wants just regular ore. Perfect. That'll get us some money. Export those golden nuggets, baby. Start exporting those nuggets. Okay, now people in this city got a lot of jobs. That's good. Gerbs. A lot of gerbs. Yes. J O B S gerb. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, military units got to make a strike. Where's the choppers? There they are. Excellency. Farmacenti. Oh, they're getting closer. Excellency. We're gonna find that base. Oh, get wrecked. Do we have the better? Uh, 
Let's see, do we have the better weapons or do we have to go back to base? Oh, here we go. Spend one favor from the Minister of Defense to promote the unit. Oh, hell yeah. I will take that. Helicopters seem great. Good against tanks, but also... These guys can travel really fast, so... They're obviously going to be the best. Or at least these are very good for scouts and response to enemy movements. Alright, let's bring over reinforcements and find that base. Might take a few hits. Excellency. How far can you guys shoot? Okay, we'll keep these guys on the road. Excellency, on our way. Oh, they can't pass through a city? They have to go around? Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Enable the missiles for the helicopters we researched. How do we do that? Oh, sweet, we fired back. A new member? No way. Uh, Basenji society reaction to last year's assault of a woman in Ahasa Hasa? has been remarkable. This afternoon, tens of thousands of protesters arrived at the palace demanding lasting changes for Basanji women. Guarantee dedicated city buses exclusively for women. Establish a female-only subsidized housing in every city. Take position of promoting gender neut neutrality. Hmm. Oh, we really, we really need that po uh, prosperity. Or plus one public safety. Uh, it's going to have to be two or three. Prosperity would save us budget. And I think approval will eventually go up over time. So let's do... Prosperity. Let's start subsidized housing. Our chopper took a hit. Uh, the welfare of your conservative citizens is something that we remain concerned about. We urge you to increase their approval. I am working on it. Okay, so prosperity should start to increase. That's too... Yeah, that's very low. Alright, well, we're about to Excellency. blast a bunch of uh, rebels out of the sky. Or I guess ground. Get wrecked. If they run their BLF. That's a movie reference. Ah, there it is. We found the rebel base. Good, chat. Good. Alright, everybody, get your helmets on. We're about to blast a base out of existence. Get ready. Uh, you have to enable the long-range missiles policy. Oh, I have to enable the policy after researching it? Ooh, this would be good. We'll do that in our next turn. Wait a minute. So you're saying after we research a policy, we also have to enable it? Ooh. Oh, wait. That should be under... Yeah. I don't see an option to enable that. Hold on. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So some have to be turned on and off. Some don't. Like the hydropower thing. Well, that'd be kind of cool to do hydropower. Uh, right now, our electricity is at 140 out of 92, so we're producing way more than what we need. But this is good because now all of our oil doesn't have to go towards power. When we expand, we can actually go towards... Um, once we expand, we can now go towards um, putting down hydropower and having all of our oil be exported rather than just being loosed. All right, so now we have our extendo missiles on. Good. Yeah. Get wrecked. Beautiful. Can we sell electricity? It's a good question. We will have to experiment with that. Oh, and they were close to our uh, oil oil plant. Wow, good thing we got here. Area secure. Excellency. Good job, chat. Target eliminated. Excellency. Oh, we're going to keep the mortars here. Okay, let's see. We now have new ministries too, don't we? Ah, yeah. Ooh. Negative five per month? Whoa. Oh, wow. Negative six? Never mind. Oh, that costs us over... Uh, ooh. It's going to cost us quite a bit of money. I don't know if we want to do that just yet. Do we? Ooh, yeah. We only have a plus 15. And we're going to have to do that eventually. 
Foreign Affairs could help us, though. Hmm. International Agenda and Diplomacy. Crime and Punishment. Citizenship. Border Policy. Quarithi Rights and Cultural Perspective. Oh, the, oh, the goodest boy. I think we should probably start with foreign affairs so we can make more benefit of our exports. That might be good. Uh, let's see. Neg oh, this will also help out our uh, policing issues, too. Although they're not too bad yet. Let's go with this one first. Tariq, what's up, bro? Welcome. Oh, and he's a conservative, so that'll please some. Uh, let's see. Favor China, Russia, or US. Let's stay non-aligned for the time being. Prioritize security. Oh, great. So that'll improve the, uh... Excellent. Yeah, let's prioritize security. That'll that'll make everybody happy for the conservatives. And then they'll uh, be happier over time. Increase tourism. Spare no expense. Climate leadership. Liberal approval. Anti-piracy. Rule of law. I think we'll stay neutral on most of these. Uh, if, if he decides, though, he's going to do it himself. Uh, let's see. Museum exchange. Free trade policy. Ooh, oil cartel. Join a cartel of oil producing and exporting countries. Improves your relationship with all neighboring oil exporters. Uh, let's go with chick Chicken Stani Dictionary. What? A chicken? Do we have any chickens in chat? You don't need one until you do. A dictionary to interpret the various clucks and pecks of Emperor Roos Roosty II. Wow. Let's go with the free trade policy for now. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're researching free trade, scholarships, recon. Oh. Electronic waste recycling and banking. Okay. Got to get that prosperity up, though. Is there anything we can build to increase prosperity? Oh, a seaport. Yeah, but some of these regions are landlocked, so that's not going to help. Prosperity. Oh, yeah, so the airports. Anything to do with infrastructure, it seems. Okay. All right, well, let's see. These two are a little rough. So this one's actually got a... Sh okay, so we could do a seaport here. It's going to take a lot of money, though. And the other one, unfortunately, is Landlock. Karif. Okay. The market? Let's see. Will the market help? I don't see a market. Is there one? Oh yeah, let's en enable that toll road policy too. Good call, chat. Okay, so we'll make money on our next turn. So some policies have to be enacted and can be turned on and off. We'll turn that off until we see more enemies. Good job, chat. Thanks for helping me to govern. Now we're earning 17 to 33 per turn. Okay, let's go uh, find out what else is Excellency. at our m mines nearby. So it looks like there's only two more natural resources for us to find. Man, look at him go. I guess nothing could stop this guy. He doesn't have to take roads. Roads? Where he's going? He ain't gonna need no roads. Excellency. Very well. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, the objective to improve the relationship with China we're working on. Apparently we have to research uh, cons the um, electronics recycling, but also we can build an embassy, but we'll have to do that in a little bit. Very well. We're working on it. All things take time. All right, sir. Can you go north? 
very well. Bam, 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 bam. Excellency. Bam, 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 bam. Very well. Anything else corrupt? There's got to be more corrupt businesses around here. Yes. Uh, we'll have to work somewhere. I bet the original power plant probably is starting to get corrupt. 6% of the first yes. uh, refinery, so let's go up there. Yes. I'll just take the road. Okay, next. Uh, the Benghazi Gazette has started publishing bolder op-ed articles that are critical to of our policy decisions. Uh, find the newspaper and have the ar the authors arrested. Uh, the issue has already received too much attention. Allow them to publish what they want. Print media is dead anyway. I mean. Uh-oh. We need to produce more uh, edible meals. Well, I think we got everything for that except for manufacturing, so let's do that. Oh, that's going to take so much money. Uh, let's build it... Um, Here. Now we gotta meet our people's demands first, and then we can start exports. Excellency, sir, can you do? Nope. Very well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I would like you to. Scan for resources. Hey! More gold ore. Perfect. Well, unfortunately, we won't have enough money to take advantage of that now, but at least we're earning money. Budget's plus 20, so that's good. We just need time to pass. Risky hedge funds. Safer annuities. Ooh. Investments can be devastated by events. Well, we can't unlock those yet. Let's start increasing our budget, though, to subsidies. That'll increase prosperity. All right, we'll do that a little bit. Wait, we just don't need it there. We need to start increasing our prosperity. Apparently, environment's being hurt again. Eh, we'll deal with that next. Knocking our budget down to 12, but we'll increase the prosperity. How are people's happiness now? Hey, there we go. We went from 19 to 25% approval. Very good. All right, that should be better. Uh, traffic problems somewhere. Oh, just, just a few traffic problems. Well, we need that money, baby. I mean, got to do them toll roads till we're making enough money from exports. I want more exports. All right, we're going to have to build a road up here anyway, so let's at least build a road. So that'll be for later. And that's connected. That's connected. This next one's going to have to be connected, too. Oh, can he not move? Yeah, let's get this stuff done. 
Excellency. 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 Very well. Excellency. Okay, we need action points for that. Military's on standby for trouble. Excellency. For Basenji. I will right, we'll keep patrolling for trouble. Okay. 26%. Are we are we good, bro? That's good to see you. What do I owe the pleasure? I mean, how, how are we doing? I think we're doing okay. We're exporting gold to them, and we've done the thing with the uh, the conservatives, so that's good. Rule of law needs to be increased. So that we're going to need to hire somebody for that. The uh, Oh, we need to make more money just so we can get somebody in that office. But if we do that, we're not going to have money for other things. Budget review, plus 12, yeah. Tourism could help that. And eventually we'll start making other things that'll make us some money, so that's fine. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's go to the next one. Another one. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, our export thing was flashing red because we don't have enough uh, manufactured meals, so we've increased that. Excellency, the price of insulin has risen significantly over the past few years. Now, we need insulin to treat diabetics in Basenji, but the majority of insulin production worldwide comes from three foreign companies. Uh, use the state funds to subsidize the cost of insulin. Do nothing. This is a global problem that needs a global solution. Uh, start a domestic... In Ooh, we could have started our own in industry. Oh, damn, that would have taken $100? Damn. Oh, man. It would be cool in these situations where we could come back later and be like, okay, now that we know this guy can do something for us, that would have been great. Oh, it would have increased prosperity and health. Spend three per month for a year. All right, we'll f we'll fund it for now. Our problems are approval, not money. Constituents are requesting a market in the province of Saba. Oh, there is a market. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, there it is. It is there. Yeah, we don't have enough cash though. Okay, we need more plastics factories. That's what our problem is. No, we need more agricultural foods. Okay, let's do foods now. That'll be cheap and easy. Ah, but we need money. Which is opposite of what I just said. But money's not as big, it just takes time to come in over time. Bum, 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 bum. So it looks like we need to make more plastics too, I think. Well, everything's going to have to just take money. Oh, thanks, guys, for all the support. Yeah, for all of you who are becoming members, we have ourselves a giveaway. My birthday's coming up pretty soon, and so pretty much starting tomorrow until Tuesday, I'm going to start celebrating by doing giveaways, and uh, we're going to do uh, live streams of all sorts of things to thank everybody for their support. It's going to be real cool. Ooh, entertainment is going real well in Saba. We can cut that budget a little bit in the future. I don't think we can mess with the, uh, I don't think we can mess with the budget again. Yeah, they don't want us to do that yet. So we'll start lowering the entertainment budgets. Apparently that's good. We'll start cutting that down. So next time we'll cut that down. We should be making, let's see, is it a dollar off? We'll make one, two, three, four, five more. Oh, well, that's good. We could issue a bond. Let's do it. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, that could be a bad idea. Alright, but we need the money now. Let's do it. Then we'll adjust the tax budget and we'll start increasing exports. We gotta get business done. So now that we're doing that, let's start exporting more... more gold. Oh, 15 intelligence, too. Cool, she's got extra stuff. All right, if we need more cash, we'll go with her. We needed more than the, the 80, though, but we'll do that as a backup. And okay, we need to make more plastics and more food. Let's increase that export. Nice. And let's go with more manufacturing. Or no, more plastics. Plastics is what we want. We'll do plastics in this town. Good. Very good. All right, that'll solve some of those problems. Okay, we need to build a market in Saba. Saba is here. You guys are getting a market. Good man, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Appreciate the support. Wow, Saba's getting a lot of love, man. Na National Park, a market. It's gonna be the center of our commerce. We're gonna have to build our international airport here. Good idea to put it in the center of the country. Hey, new favor is unlocked. Good. And a new policy, too. You hey, want to thank for building the market. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the recon training finished. Good. Oh, and he can give us money as well. Excellent. Or intelligence. Ah, good. Very good. Give me both your monies. I'd like that, please. I want to start building. We must do more. More. Akatsuki, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg as well. Appreciate the support. Welcome. Good. Our nation grows. 241, good. All right, uh, let's see. Improve relationship, working on that. Improve that, and working on that. Increase the standing, working on that. Numbers are steadily going up, good. Let's take advantage of all of our natural resources, then. We'll be on standby with the uh, thingy there, but let's do a smelter. Because then we can start exporting gold to the neighbors. We'll build that up here. Now we can start exporting gold bars, too. Okay, that's good. Then we can just start selling that raw, but then it's needed for consumer electronics. So now we've stepped up our game for exports. Good. 221, I think we should spend some more. Excellency? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we're going to create more plastics and more food. We could do tourism soon. We're out of moves, though. Have we finished up looking for all of our resources? I don't think we have any more, do we? Excellency. Other than this one. We'll start that next month, now that we got cash for it. Good. Hey, Booster. Alright, well, let's go ahead and just go with what we got. And I'm going to jump back on screen and say hi. Ah, yes. Hello, chat. Good. Good to have you here. Good. 
Uh, let's see. Improve conservative approval. All right, a lot of this stuff is underway, so we're good. Well, let's just go to our next turn because nobody can move anymore. Surveyors only have one more location to go to. And I think we'll just let the military stay defensive until they find some trouble. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Well, let's see. The gazelle's the hero we need right now. Plus one public safety. Well, let's go with that. It would increase rule of law, but let's do public safety. Yeah, we'll build a road up for the smelter. In the today, oh. one question is on everybody's mind. Who is the gazelle? This much is certain. It is not me. Uh, it's not you, ma'am? Okay. Oh no, the smelter has a road. It auto-builds. But it's missing a road to the southern half of the country. Ah, oh, we just need to build a little road here then. Wow, half the country's not even connected via a road? Wow. Pretty sure that's the problem. Well, actually, wait a minute. The road goes down there. Oh, that's right. That makes travel way easier. Could you imagine having to go from here to here, but you'd have to go all the way down? That's crazy. Environmental problems are getting worse because of traffic. We'll have to do the buses thing soon. Uh, we are disappointed that our relationship with Barrett and Stan hasn't improved. Bro, we're working on it. Would you please? I will do no minimum wage. There. Guy yeah, being a pain in the neck. Okay, economic policies need to improve here. Could build another uh, beautiful nature reserve. Wow, it would be good for tourism in the future. Yeah, I guess it's taking a hit with all the, uh, oh yeah, with all that traffic. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to do buses. Okay, let's do a little, little park there. That's not a bad deal. Now yeah, we're close. We're just four members away from a, another giveaway on the Discord. Oh, if we hit there, we got some giveaways to do. Commodity prices. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll zip back over here now. Hi, I'm over here now. Hello. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Oh, we could do a hydro dam eventually. That'll be good. Wow, plus 70 power. Excellent. 400 power for the old nuclear plant. That's cool. Hotel. We could start tourism, but we got to get people here first. Oh, we could do an intelligence agency. Actually, I think we should do that. Oh, it would decrease money, though, or whatever that is. Produces one intelligence if... Oh, it's got to be constructed next to a foreign embassy, though. Hmm. Oh, we could increase uh, prosperity up here. Now, well, let's just build some fun stuff now. We're making some good... Uh, we're making some good decisions here. There we go. Oh, we can set policies for this too. Smuggle controlled goods. Oh. All right, that'll improve their prosperity then.
Alright, good, that helps them. How are we doing on budget review? Oh, we're at plus 23, beautiful. Ah, we can go into it. Safer annuities. Investments are secure. To keep building stuff though it seems a little more enjoyable I'll give these guys an extra do dollar tourism definitely doesn't need any extra love okay we'll leave those policies alone This guy needs to, uh... uh... We have to finish with the Severa, but we'll have to do it next time. They made all their moves. Oh, good. We're actually making more than enough food to give our people what they need and to export as well. Safer annuities? Yeah, we could do something like that. Unfortunately, the news media's fascination with the masked vigilante hero known as the Gazelle appears to have sparked the arrival of dangerous new masked villain known as the Jackal. The Jackal has threatened to detonate a bomb planted inside a random building in Kyark if his demands for money are not met. I reject demands. This is a job for the Gazelle. Certain that a building in the... Oh, boy. Give in to his demands. Oh, damn it. Wait, what building do I have there? Oh, I just built... Oh, I think that's where I just built the seaport. Oh, damn it. Ugh. Uh, if I don't give them money, we're going to lose the seaport. And if we lose the seaport, it's basically like mo moving money anyway. Or he could have destroyed the gold processing center. Uh, what's the problem with the gold thingy? Uh, missing road connection to... Wait, do I not... Did I not build a road down to the south? No, there's a road here to the border. Well, it looks like there's a road going all the way there. Oh, we need to make more again. I think we need more manufacturing plants. Chad, what are your thoughts on that uh, gold mine? How, how do we get the gold mine to be connected? Or, I mean, the smelter. How do we get the smelter to be connected? Okay, we're going to build another manufacturing plant. Uh, you have no treaty to export gold bars, just gold... Oh, gold gold dust, okay. Oh, so it's not that it's not connected to a road, it's because of the treaty. Okay. We will update that. Uh, we can build another manufacturing plant, we got to build it somewhere else. Uh, let's build a manufacturing plant. Oh, they've already got one plant there. This guy, this place needs a factory here. They've already got a mine. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, processed food. Then we can start diplomacy. We can start exporting gold bars then. Okay, we'll improve our relationship with these guys. Okay, now we got multiple exports. That's good. Hey, these guys need better environmental stuff. Excellency. All right, first let's get you done. Ah, uh, more gold. Well, no aluminum then, boys. We're not going to be able to get that going. We can increase our gold exports, though. 
Well, we'll do that later. Let's focus on changing the budget around. Nope, okay. Reset that policy. Well, at least we're positive at 21 a month. We could do... I think we need to do some more stuff for the environment, though. Which sucks, but we could play the long game into tourism. I will build another one of those. Okay, so nothing's like below two now. So this this town just got a lot of love. Everybody's got like one major issue now. Three of them require environment, one's health, and one's prosperity. Alright, let's go with that. And I think we're going to save some money. And I think manufacturing will increase now. Okay, now that the surveying is done, do we need... Should we get rid of these guys? or Oh, wait, there's more here. There's one up there by the border I didn't see. Oh, maybe more are appearing? I don't remember these. Excellency. Alright, bro, you come over here. Oh, wait, are those the fake ones? Oh, this guy knows exactly for sure where they are. Only assured resource deposits are visible. So anything else would be fake. I don't see anything else, so... Can we just get rid of these guys then? Disband unit now that we're done? Import uranium? Yes, I think so. How much are these guys costing us? Civilian units, zero. Oh, they're basically free? Orcs population under control, what? Crazy. Oh, they want us to build a stadium. Alright. Uh, ooh, I don't think we have enough of that anymore, ma'am. Unless we do some more crazy investments. Nope. And I've taken all the favors I can, so that's going to have to wait. Stadium's going to have to wait. Conservative approval seems to be increasing. Uh, how are we doing with that? Twenty-five, but I think some policies we set just need a little bit of time. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum. Don't build a stadia in, in stadium. I got gotcha. you. All right, one more move we can make. Uh... Oh, our intelligence is going up. That's good. Ah, once we make this turn, we're probably going to be faced with another hard decision. Well, I guess we'll build a road for when this mine is operational. There we go. Alright, here comes another hard choice. Uh, Basenji women are requesting financial vouchers from our government to pay for the cost of child care. I think you should support this one. Just saying, dot, dot, dot. Uh, spend $2 a month for 12 months. Alright, well, everybody's irritated at me, so we need to improve rate, uh, our relations, so go for it. Conservatives want stuff. The liberals want stuff. We need to give it both to them. Uh oh bum, bum, bum. I'm calling my note a disappointment that you were unable to improve your relationship with the People's Republic of China. Alright, well, I'm, I'm very sorry, uh, younger Tim Curry, for angering you. I'll do better. Oh, look. Nice. 40 out of 69, Chad. Nice. 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 
Uh, we gotta wait a while before we reduce. Uh, we could save a little bit of money from that one. How much is the stadium? Oh, 50. Oh, we're pretty close. Nice. Nice, chat. Nice. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Nice. All right, so that's all we got to do next is improve that rating. Some some goals are really like so far off and expensive that like you don't want to do it, but makes sense. All right, well now we're thirteen dollars positive. If we make some change, whoa, did that? Oh, I thought that didn't save that change. Holy crap! Whoa. Actually, that's not bad because their prosperity is at three, so that'll be one less problem to worry about. Okay, and that's a happy little accident, like Bobbert Ross. That's a big Bob Ross right there. And then that means we'll adjust that in a few months. And then our budget... Ideally, we would probably bring this down to four. Keep it up a little bit. Make sure our prosperity increases. But bring everything down to one. So that would save us one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Probably eight. Like 10, so we'd probably be up to like 20. We could probably do 25 if we increase trade and reduce expenses. That would be fine. Very good. Very good. Chad, it'd be very good of you if you get up to 400 likes. If you want to see more City Builder or Empire Builder games on the channel, and of course to uh, smash that join button as we're very close to a giveaway for today. I appreciate everybody and their awesome support, so thank you very much for all the love and whatnot. And we'll come back sometime soon for a stream tomorrow of uh, Evil Genius 2, which should be a lot of fun. And then we'll do Park Attack tomorrow. So a lot of building games this week on the channel. This being one of them out today, Rogue State Revolution now on Steam or wherever games are sold. So make sure you check it out. Thanks again for all the positivity and support. And uh, thanks for helping us to knock out our goals. And I can't wait for my birthday in the next couple of days where we'll be doing some more giveaways. You guys are awesome. I'll uh, see you tomorrow for more. Thanks again for dropping by. And... Uh, Appreciate all the positivity and awesomeness, you guys. Thanks for being the best audience on YouTube. Still have some giveaways to do tonight on the Discord at random. Trying to drop things at random so everybody gets a chance. So make sure you jump on that Discord. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and whatnot, too, where I drop additional keys from time to time through DMs or whatnot. So thanks again for all the awesomeness and support and reading the description and titles and being awesome in chat and whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Tomorrow, big day. Our first look at... Uh, wonderful and fantastic Evil Genius 2 and Parkitect. No, I'm just kidding. Parkitect will be soon, but close. Prehistoric Kingdom. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye, everybody!